Hey guys, so today's video I have for you will be, um, we're gonna try basically to make barrel slime. So we're gonna try to make barrel slime. If you guys do not know what barrel slime is, it's a slime that's really watery. When you touch it, it feels like water. But when you, like, I don't know how to explain it. Touch it when you touch it, it's like water. But after, it's not like water. I don't know how to explain it, you guys. So if you guys um, know what I'm saying, barrel slime, have you ever touched it? It's a slime that's really jiggly and really watery and feels like water. That's barrel slime. And we're going to try to make barrel slime. So the things we will be needing will be glue. So we're going to add some glue. Next, the main part, I feel like you need water a lot. So we're going to have the same amount as water. I mean, glue as water. Hopefully, this should not be okay. And not to a fail. So I got a borax too, um, like a teaspoon of borax with a cup of water, I guess. I kind of eyeballed it. So, you know. Um, so we're going to quickly stir that up. So don't add too much water because if you add too much water the glue will get all dissolved and stuff and then with the water and then it will just be a piece of liquid and when you add activator it doesn't turn out to be anything you know so with this project I want to make uh let's do project let's name it project um with this song we're doing right now we're gonna add some glitter Look at that beautiful glitter. And you guys are wondering where I got these glitter. I got it at Dollar Tree. The most cheapest, cheapest place to actually get your glitters and stuff. Look how beautiful that looks, you guys. Okay, so we're going to add some coloring. And we're going to add some green coloring. If you're wondering, again, where I got this. I got it at Five Below, I think, with a 12-pack with metallic and neon colors for only $5. That was a good price, so, yeah, got it. So, I'm going to add a little bit of this paint. You can get it at Walmart for $0.50. Cents. This is even come out. Add a little bit more of that, and... Add all my I'm gonna add all my green paint just because um I want it to be like a really different color, not just a plain little green color. So let's see if I can do it. Okay. I have many shades of green more than any color than other shades. So green is the most shades that I have. So we're gonna add that. Whoa. That just got messy, you know. Okay, so we added all our colors. So we're gonna stir that up. See how that looks like. What color do you think it's gonna turn into? We all know it's gonna turn into a green color, but what green color? A ugly dark one, or a pretty light one, or just a brown one. Okay, so there's our green. So let's see if we can find a different kind of shade of green, but more of a darker. Here it is. So you should go ahead and check out your local Dollar Tree. They have so many glitters for only a dollar, obviously, because it's Dollar Tree, you know? So yeah. I added this type of green just because the other one doesn't really match. I kind of like it. It's like more of a gray ish color but now we're just gonna quickly just going to um add our borax so if you guys um don't know how to make borax and want me to use measuring cups go ahead and watch my video i did make two videos of me making borax so that's great so we, every time you make um slime 
or like if you're using borax or any kind of solution make sure you add little by little like if you're using um contactless solution with baking soda make sure you add your contact lens solution very slowly just because it does have like a little well it is activator so make sure you add it quite slowly and little by little make sure you have patience with this if you don't um it's gonna probably gonna be stressful for you but i always been stressful with this i feel like it's just gonna make a whole solid this line i'm gonna add more water i think i had way too much you guys Stir it up. So the easier way to not get like a whole piece of blob of a hardness to add borax like one everywhere like I did it. Like I had, let me show you guys. So I added borax here, 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 and here. Different places. We see the bubbles, I put it here, there, there, and then back here. So if this video is quite long, <laughs> um, sorry, just because um, my phone isn't working lately and it doesn't let me download my app to edit. I really don't know any other apps to use to edit. And if you guys are YouTubers, you know, you guys use a free app, comment that down below. Because I still need to find a good one, but the one I use is iMovie iMovie is a very good editing, video, edit, editing thing for free. And that's where I usually use it. But my phone hasn't been working lately. doesn't let me download it. So now I just have to do videos like this. So I'm going to quickly stir that up. Look how pretty that looks. Not too bad. I want it to be like a barrel slime. Because I don't want, want it... I want it to be really jiggly and like all wobbly and stuff like normal slime but however I want it to be not like a hard one you know what I mean I don't know um we're gonna quickly stir that up look at all that paint at the bottom there's like so much paint at the bottom well okay I think it's working I think we made bare slime Okay, so I'm going to go with my hands. Ugh, there's paint everywhere. Okay. So I feel like if you add too much, because sometimes you add too much water. Because sometimes when I try to make really jiggly slime, um, it always turns out to be a failure for me because... I'm not that sure. I think because of the water. It, like, I always, it's really sticky sometimes. And sometimes I really, really try my best to make it not sticky. I think we kind of made barrel slime. Not that bad for a barrel slime, you know? So for this, I think we call it jiggly slime, not barrel slime. But I'm going to do a part two with this video. Just because this video is already long, almost doing 10 minutes. So it's about to be 9 minutes in a couple seconds. And then it's going to be 10 minutes. Be quite a while. So I'm going to kind of Emma end this part, this video, and just call this video a part one of my DIY barrel slime. And my other part is going to try to make it even better, more jiggly, and more everything. So yeah. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys um, do want more kind of slime recipes and stuff like that, um, go ahead and comment below. I could go ahead and buy um, measuring cups if you guys want me to do that kind of slimes. Stuff like that. Um, comment that down below, I guess. And yeah. Comment down below any questions you have or any videos you want me to do next time. So yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to watch my other videos I have in my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out my Instagram. It is called slime lover underscore 301. And that is my Instagram from this channel. And yeah. 
So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye guys.